Hi everybody and welcome to the Open eCrime Midweek Market Commentary for the 2nd of October. My name's Simon Clark from Trade with Precision and I'll be discussing the markets that are of key interest right now. Now the first market I'm going to take a look at today here is Dollar Swiss. Now this is the currency pair and we can start to take a look at some interesting levels that this market's sitting at right at the moment. So if we take a look at the monthly chart we can see here on the monthly chart we can see that this market's been in a downtrend for a while. We've broken through the parity level, it's come right the way down, tested 7,000, which became a big, big move. And then we've price pulled back up, tested 1,000 again, and now we've started to roll over again. So we've put in a lower high and now starting to test the current lows or the previous low. When we take a look at the weekly chart over here, we can see here on the weekly chart this price action in a bit more detail. So we can see how price has come down, tested 9,000 a number of times, and this level's actually been goes right the way back. It's uh, it's a very strong level on this currency pair. We put in a couple of lower highs now and lower lows, and price is coming right back down and testing 9,000. We've got our moving averages in the right order, and lovely convergence on the indicators. So a couple of things that could happen here. We could actually um, consolidate underneath or con consolidate just on top of the 9000 level and make a, for a break below it and if we do then we can see back here there's pretty much nothing in the way of price you know nothing no other historical support and resistance levels in the way of price coming back down and retesting the sort of 7000 level again but at the moment, um, we could actually expect to see a bit of a bounce up. Um, we've got 9,300 in here, which is also another support and resistance level. It's been tested numerous times. So we could expect to see a bit of a push up and a retest around 9,300. So if we come down to the lower time frames and start to take a look at what potentially could happen here. So on the daily chart, we've got our trend. Everything's all of our moving averages in the right order. We've got our lovely convergence here on the indicators. Price just come down and just tested this 9000 level once here yesterday. So we could get this move back up, um, but even if we got a move back up to, you know, what we have here, 9200, which also happens to cluster with some previous lows here and also the top of the sell zone, we could see, you know, potential move back down to retest 9000 again. If we come down to the 240 chart, we can see on the 240 chart we've got a bit of divergences coming in here, which you know not really unexpected because of the you know the significance of this level. So there's some sort of buying momentum coming into the market around this level, and indeed you know when we start to take a look at this, we might even expect to see on these lower time frames there are also other levels that we could potentially see here as price coming up and retesting. So we've got another level here just above the sort of 9,080 level, which has been prior support and resistance again in the past. So some interesting price action here on dollar Swiss. Um, as I say, at this moment in time, I think we're a little way away from a, a push to the downside through 9,000, but you know anything can happen. And uh, looking for potential bounce you know, if we do get a bounce off 9,000, we could get a move back up to 9,200 or even 9,300 here on the weekly chart. Okay, the next market I'm going to take a look at here is silver. Uh, this is the mini uh, mini silver futures contract, the at YI contract. And if we take a look at the monthly chart, uh, monthly we can see that we've been in a nice downtrend for some time now, going back to 2011. We've broken underneath this uh, 2675 level, which has been tested numerous times. Broken decisively underneath there, we've now got our moving averages all in the right order, and we've got lovely convergence on the indicators. In fact, price has just actually had a pullback, and we just put in a lower high here. So we take a look at the weekly chart. Here on the weekly chart, we can see this price action in a bit more detail. We can see that we've got lovely move to the downside. And there's a couple of other levels in here that have been tested in price. So if I just zoom this up a little bit, you can see the couple of levels here, $20 level and the $18 level, which have been prior support and resistance levels for some time. Price has tested those and bounce back up and now starting to roll over again and it's 
certainly looking like we could um, come down and retest sort of the 20 area. If not, if we break through the 20, then it looks like a retest of 18 could be on the cards. So if we come down to the daily chart, we can see here on the daily, we've still got nice confirmation of our downtrend here. We've got nice clear series of lower highs and lower lows. Moving average is not quite in the right order here, but we have got some lovely convergence here on the indicators. What I was looking at was if we come down to the 240 chart here, and we can see this bit of sideways price action that we've got here. Um, what we've also got, whilst this has been consolidating sideways, we've got a level, this sort of 21, sort of 40 level, which has been tested a number of times. You can see how strong this sort of support and resistance level is. We've just broken through that, and now price has just pulled back to that level. So what I like to do is to draw my Fib study in here. So draw it from the high down to the low, and we can see, well, in actual fact, from the high of this consolidation down to the low is a 50% uh, pullback to this this level. So we've now got a strong support and resistance level which happens to cluster with a 50% FIB level and also happens to be right in the sell zone there of price as well. So you've got nice um, potential area there for price to be turning around, find resistance there and look for a move, a continuation of the move to the downside. Okay, the last market I'm going to talk about today here is a great British pound against the Japanese yen. Another currency pair. If we take a look at the monthly chart, monthly chart we can see, you know, we've paired some big powerful moves to the downside, you know, going back several years. Price has been consolidating for quite a period of time and now we're starting to get the formation here of a nice monthly trend flowing. So we've got our moving averages in the right order. We've got some lovely buying momentum here with our MACD and our RSI. So we've got nice clear series of higher lows and higher highs. So there's a nice bit of price action here on the monthly chart. We can see this uh, corresponds if we take a look at the, the weekly chart here as well. Lovely series of higher highs and higher lows, moving averages in the right order and some nice convergence on the indicators. The same story here for the daily chart, although when we take a closer look at the daily, we can see that price has come up to this 160 level. Um, it's tested it a couple of times, and now we're starting to consolidate sideways. And we're starting to form some lows in here, which have been tested a few times. With that, we've also got the indicators here, the MACD and the RSI rolling over here. And it looks like a potential further move back down to the downside. Um, or a bit of a further pullback. And if we take a look up to the higher time frames, we can start to see, well, in actual fact, on the weekly chart, we are a little bit overextended from the moving averages. So maybe a pullback into the moving averages could be what's on the cards here. So if we come down to the lower time frame, so I've come down to a 480 chart here, you can start to see this current price action that we've got a couple of levels that have formed in here in price. So we've got the 158 it's 158.16 level which has been sort of prior support up here before and it's been a little bit resistance here too um, we're underneath that now and we've got another level in here sort of 157 sort of 16 ish or thereabouts so around about the 157 level we can see that price has tested this a number of times on the low side and price is coming back down to it now also, whilst we've had these two highs in here, we've had also further divergences on this time frame here. So as price came up to make an equal high, we've got lower highs on our MACD and our RSI, just indicating there's weakening momentum here. And we could see you know, a retest to the lower side. So if we do, if we get a break underneath this 157 level, then you know it looks like we could get a further pullback, maybe a pullback into the buy zone here on the weekly chart. So that concludes the midweek market outlook and potential trading opportunities to look out for. I'd like to thank you for watching the Open eCry midweek market commentary and look forward to speaking to you next week. Bye for now.